Hi there. Well, on sorry, on my YouTube, a uh, video showing frying, making a stir fry with uh, ramen noodles and canned tuna. One of the persons on there commented, "Why not do a video just showing the canned tuna?" Apparently, he liked that idea. So I said, why not? In Massachusetts, I was there with my girlfriend at the time, who was a big seafood fan. We stopped by, she had a dozen oysters, and then I think another dozen oysters. And me, I honestly was not hungry, so I ordered a uh, tuna sandwich. Yeah, what kind of tuna sandwich can you get from legal seafood? Well, it turned out probably the, the best uh, tuna fish sandwich I had ever eaten in my entire life. Uh, one difference was that the tuna had not be just been served plain cold out of a can, of course. It had actually been fried or otherwise uh, cooked. And I fell in love with the taste of that cooked tuna. I had never tasted anything like it. And it was shortly after that I took the step of frying canned tuna. And it was freaking delicious. Since then, I have recommended to as many people as possible that if you want to try something different but very simple and very cheap, fry yourself up some canned tuna. And that's what I'm doing right now. <clears throat> this is the cheap stuff, as you can see. I prefer mine in water to oil, so we just simply drain it a little bit. And I've got myself some minced garlic and some chopped green onion. And it's as simple as that. Also here we've got, uh, we are preparing some um, rice to, uh, so that we can serve the tuna over raw rice. So, just a wee bit of canola. Definitely searing temperature. Nothing to it. Now we just start frying away. Well, this skillet is one I've had for a while. 
and have not used very often, which is a shame because it's a beauty. Interesting thing about this skillet, I found this at uh, Brimfield. This is one of those unknown gate mark skillets with a fancy handle. I believe that these were made as part of um, an accessory set for uh, kitchen stoves of the 19th century, so they were just basically throwaway items, makers unknown. This particular one, <clears throat> after I cleaned it up, I found out it had not one, but two cracks. And I uh, did not want to lose this skillet, so I actually made the expense of having the cracks welded. I took it to a professional welder who uh, did a wonderful job of repairing the cracks. One of the welds is here. Another is right about here, I think. As you can see, he did such a great job, you can barely see it. Definitely not a level skillet, though. <laughs> and it, the bottom is practically curved. That plus the gate mark, of course. So this is definitely a wobbler. <clears throat> of course, it was meant to, to fit in the eye of a um, wood-burning stove, so that didn't matter back in those days. Doing this nice and simple, you could, of course, add any seasoning that you want to this, as it is tuna. In all my life, I've never bought. <clears throat> I know they sell the seasoned tuna in packets as well as in cans. Never bought that. Not sure how expensive it is compared to the canned stuff. I would suspect probably there would be quite a cost difference. So look at that. You've got another use for a cast iron skillet to save money in the kitchen. will be done in just a little more than a minute. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's barely taken a few minutes to fry up this tuna.
Oh, have I told you I love cooking cast iron? Whether it's tuna, rice, or what have you. can I say, but dinner is served. Nice and short. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much.